So welcome everyone. Let us start. I hope we took a few moments to ingather ourselves. So today we have to start with uh, this new part, wrong thinking. Last time we were talking about accidents, I think, yeah, slackening of consciousness. So today we will take wrong thinking. I think very should be very helpful to each one of us. So let us go through. Yeah, anyone who would like to read? Yeah, no, I'll read. Wrong thinking. Surabindo. The feeling of illness is at first only a suggestion. It becomes a reality because your physical consciousness accepts it. It is like a wrong suggestion in the mind. If the mind accepts it, it becomes clouded and confused and has to struggle back into harmony and clearness. It is so with the body consciousness and illness. You must not accept but reject it with your physical mind and so help the body consciousness to throw off the, the suggestion. If necessary, make a counter suggestion. No, I shall be well. I am and shall be all right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So I think this would also resonate with uh, affirmations. We often talk about affirmations. And a mother in her, there's another compilation by Mr. A.S. Dalal. Uh, it's called The Powers Within. And there uh, he shares a lot of words by Mother Sri Aurobindo where uh, they talk about uh, the power of positive affirmation. Like what we gave. Mother says that if you have to think, then please think well. So, and we can change it. And we, I think we were often discussing about uh, affirmations and what should be the process and how they don't work and how they can work. Yeah. And it is all like we are carrying a lot of collective consciousness, a lot of childhood conditioning. So if any uh, fear is there that we are carrying along with ourselves, then it just like becomes our default thinking pattern. So if some hurt happens, oh, it will develop into pus and then maybe I lose a limb or whatever, you know, we can go on in any worse direction. But uh, with affirmation, uh, with changing, making a counter suggestion, uh, we can try to change it even at the subconscious levels. It requires a lot of effort. And oftentimes we feel that, oh, it doesn't work for me. But I, I think I have shared often that when we are saying that it doesn't work for me, it means we have not really done it well. The affirmation part. So any negative thinking pattern can be changed into something uh, higher and positive if we put effort. Yeah, and we were also talking of uh, the power of writing it down. Like if we write the affirmations down many number of times, then it becomes the grain of our being instead of the previous one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Chetna, you're you're cracking. Your, your voice is cracking. Is it better now? Yeah, is better, better? Yes, better, better. Okay. Okay. 
I, uh, I mean, in my uh, experience up till now, I have found that like affirmation is thought. Yeah. So, um, I mean, when I combine it with feeling, when I go to the feeling element of it, that where did this thought um, originate in me? Oftentimes, like if I go to that and I change the feeling there, um, then it starts to work for me. Or even if I'm not able to go to the origin in a case, but if I am able to, like in that circumstance, still come to a feeling of gratitude and grace in whatever is happening, then uh, then the affirmation, then I'm in a state of, you know, like the affirmation would work. Then the affirmation would work. Mm, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. You know, with the feeling part also comes, uh, you know, what you were sharing it that it connects with our body, because if it just remains a thought, uh, then it uh, is not really like the potential is very rare that it will work truly but if what you were sharing about the feeling part because feeling part is maybe deeper towards our body so like you know we meet somebody we feel good you know we feel good in the body you know we feel empowered in the body and when i'm thinking something disempowering it disempowers me in the body and i don't feel good about it and what you were sharing about the feeling part which i believe you know, is related with again the body feeling that power of that thought so yes so you feel it like if i say that maybe i'm anxious about a particular situation in my life and now i say that i know that the mother is looking after it and i'm taken care of and you feel that in the body how does it feel when you know that the mother is taking care of you you know, the mother is overlooking all everything supervising everything in your life and she knows the larger plan she's taking care so you have to feel it in the body what you were sharing so that body empowerment gives a lot of potential to that affirmation but if just it remains a figment of my imagination then it is bound not to work mostly yeah so anything more here anyone on this counter suggestion part You know, here it's again when uh, Jagan was reading it, it's like transcending reason. You know, maybe three people in your home are sick, you start feeling something, and it's the most reasonable thing, logical, that you too will fall sick. Yes, you're feeling, and here, see, I'm feeling it again. And there to reject it. The brain questions, right? Like, why are you wasting your time? Like, of course, right? It will come and and yet to reject it and say that, no, I shall be well. Or no, it's nothing, right? It's just, you know, something that will just pass. It's really powerful. You know how we keep reaching this place nowadays that the brain is limited. The mind is limited. and we, But, you know, we hold all the things from the past and say, oh, I have so much proof, right? Like maybe 60 times I've seen that when something comes, you know, that's what they say. That's what viral is. That's what an infection is. It's not a possibility not to get it. So I have weakened my own system to believe, to fall prey to this again and again. And only I am the one who can now rebuild it, right? Like if I weakened a muscle by not paying attention to it, I have to give it, I don't know, strengthen it and it will gain power again. So one again has to stand against one's own self a lot of times just talking about myself to say that no, no. I mean, it's beyond law. I mean, I don't want to this, listen to logic. I Why should I? And just, yeah, just want to say that.
Yeah. <clears throat> so anything more? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, Pana. Just one second. It is like a wrong suggestion in my mind. So here it's, you know, the line that says, it is so with the body consciousness and illness. Um, you must not accept, but reject it with your physical mind. And so help the body consciousness to throw off the suggestion. Uh, Ma'am, can you give a little bit more context on this particular line? Thank you. Please. Yeah. You must not accept it, but reject it with your physical mind. And so help the body consciousness to throw off the suggestion. So I think all of us, uh, whatever was shared so far, is the physical mind. That which comes to me, which I say naturally. And you know, the natural chatter about anything in my head is the physical mind. You don't have any effort in that. That's called the mechanical mind also. So... For example, uh, the conditioning of getting ill when three people around me are ill. Usme aapko kuch effort thodi na karna hai, wo to ho raha hai. Wo to pattern dhal chuka. You are in that groove, one can say, right? So in that you are effortless. So when we say, oh, I want to be effortless, effortlessly we are that pattern. That's the physical mind. The physical cells have absorbed that conditioning. And that's why they don't need any effort in practicing that. You know, that if three people are ill, then the fourth also gets ill. Isko conditioning bhi kehte hain, you know, sanskar bhi keh sakte hain. It's like ingrained in my consciousness, physical consciousness. But when we talk about effort, you know, to transcend everything, we have to put effort. Now this groove is where I am stuck into. For that, I don't need effort. But if I want to transcend what Taru was sharing and Chat Chetna was you know, mentioning in the beginning, there you have to put effort. And so affirmation, I am writing down an affirmation which is transcending my limited uh, conditioning. And there I will have to put effort. There laziness will also come. But in Operating from my groove, there is no laziness because that is already there. I don't have to put any effort. So it's like a ghost working in the background. You know? And that ghost is living my life. I am not living my life. We begin to live our life when we begin to put effort to transcend these limitations. That's where our human part, you know, why human birth is so precious because you can put effort and transcend these limitations. So... This physical mind, how to reject it with your physical mind means subconsciously you have to change that pattern. Or what tap change hota hai, which we were talking in the other, you know, in this other session also. That it when you write it down, write it down, and instead of worry, now that being with the mother becomes natural to you. It's like you know, you are stuck in that groove now, being with the mother all the time. And in the dreams, also it, things begins to change. So then it means that it has been rejected from the physical consciousness. Otherwise, in, in the sub, upar upar se, you think that, uh, oh, I'm not fearful. But in the sub, in, in the dreams, if you recollect your dreams, you see that, oh, I was fearful there in the dreams. It means it has not gotten completely off from the physical mind. So dreams are a good, uh, like reflectors of our consciousness. And a dream may agar change, ho gaya, iska matlab? It has been thrown off and something else has been taken up by now the physical consciousness. Yeah. And it takes, Sri Aurobindo says that it takes a long time uh, when at times that mechanical mind is the part of the physical mind, that mechanical chatter in the background. Just may, like it can remain, you know, we don't have to fight with it. That mechanical chatter up my interpretations about judgments about everything, it can remain in the background. The only thing is now I don't believe in it. So it loses grip over me. You have an interaction. And you are seeing all this chatter going in the background. But you don't give it attention. You don't buy into its dictates. And that is okay. That's a completely you know okay. Because he says that for a long time, this mechanical chatter 
stays in the background. So we don't have to be frustrated why it is still there. Let it be there. You just don't listen to it. Yeah, so that's something, a little thing on physical mind. There, there should be more. There is more. So if you type an incarnate word physical mind or mechanical mind, you get many, many references which will make it more clear. Yeah. You know, it's also very interesting that you said uh, in, in, in dreams, uh, if I'm still recollecting those things, then it's still, um, there's still progress to be made. It's very interesting because yesterday uh, when I woke up, I had a dream of a, of a situation that um, I've encountered. Um, and I've the way I've responded to the situation is not how I'm uh, looking my, looking at myself to be, you know, aspiring myself to be. Like I was again, you know, I was very um, aggressive in that situation. I mean, I woke up and and thinking, okay, so uh, it was just a dream. But now it's now you tell me this, and I realize that it wasn't really a dream. It was still it is still in my nature that even in my dream, I'm reacting it to it the way I did. Yes, yes, beautiful. So this is how we can actually, Sri talks about it, how we can, uh, Mother also talks about it, how dreams can be beautiful uh, helpers in our progress. You know, they give us signals and hints that, okay, this needs to be, as you said, worked upon and this maybe has taken care of, has been taken care of. So yes, if we are conscious of our dreams, even a little bit of it, not all the dreams we may remember, but if we remember some significant ones, which give us a clue, you know? So that's really helpful, yes. Yeah. And then if we, then we can work on it, you know? Then in our waking consciousness, uh, I can actually uh, strengthen that affirmation which I want to uh, be, you know, where I want to be. So that slowly, slowly, it becomes a grain of my being, you know, it becomes my texture. So the texture changes. See, that's why mother calls it the science of living. It's like each part of your being you can experiment with and you can continue experimenting with endlessly, progressively, like a scientist does. And there is never a time when the scientist will say, oh, I'm closing my lab, my work is done, fixed. You know, It's never ending process. Going on and on and on, the more you discover, the more you feel that, oh, there is more to be discovered. You know? So like that, it's really beautiful. Then one doesn't need any outer entertainment because there's so much happening within. Yeah. Yes. So anything else, anyone on this? So wherever we feel ripples in our being, you know, wherever throughout the day many things happen, people say many things uh, and going to those outer triggers, something gets triggered in me. You know, if we are conscious of these happenings, then we can constantly uh, transcend, you know, constantly uh, not get stuck in those older grooves, you know, if we are aware of those. Yes, Claudia, you want to share something? Okay, maybe not. We can't hear you. Are you saying something, Claudia? You're not audible. Not audible still. So who would like to read next? Maybe this one. Yeah. The mother. 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर गुड हेल्थ इज कंट्रोल ओवर द माइंड बिकॉज द बॉडी ओबेज ऑलमोस्ट टोटली वॉट यू बिलीव वेन यू बिलीव दैट यू आर इल यू बिकम मोर एंड मोर इल If you believe that this or that will cure you, there is much chance that it will do so. Right thinking is most necessary for good health. No, there are many uh, many times we you know whenever we are meeting somebody who is maybe not well at times some of us have a habit to talk about his illness it's very common you can't ignore it you know you can't see that person as a being with broader dimensions you just see the illness you know and you want to talk about the illness many it's very common it's very very common and i'm sure all of us have done it at some or the other point of time but it's very rare uh, to maybe meet a person who may be sick or you yourself may be sick and but you don't give it that much of importance like you know whatever you are dealing with the work or whatever that's more important the life and that's just a small part of it and you know you know that you will go through it and things will be okay so it i i feel that that's a very uh, rare quality we can all develop slowly we can cultivate that uh, either when i am sick i don't give that much importance it's it doesn't mean that you are not doing what is required to take care of that illness you know you are doing that but uh, parallelly you are not giving it just like oh my god oh my god this is the only thing that is happening with me so it it doesn't take too much of space in your life so that really really helps i have seen you know many people who themselves may be ill but they don't really discuss anything about their illness and they have better things to talk about and that keeps them up, uplifted you know and illness is something which comes and goes and it it will come and go and you will take care of it that's it you don't give it that much of importance so the most important thing for good health mother says is control over the mind because the body obeys almost totally what you believe when you believe that you are ill you become more and more ill if you believe that this or that will cure you there is much chance that it will do so you know i remember i had shared once uh, there was a friend's partner and whenever he would get fever he would uh, he knew that if i take a protein mix i would get rid of it you know and it sounded weird to me the first time i heard it but that's how he cured his fever you know he always whenever he had fever he took just the protein mix and that's it it was taken care of now the protein mix may not work for everyone because i don't believe in it so mother says the body obeys almost totally what you believe so right thinking is most necessary for good health so if uh, we find often that we are falling ill you know you're getting hurt again and again just if you can if we can all look inside and maybe become conscious of where am i maybe developing and nurturing wrong kind of thinking that could be a nice mirror to see what can be adjusted and then we all have phases where we are relatively very simple very easy relaxed you know and very we are relatively healthy and then we are we have phases where we are emotionally imbalanced you know not really much very happy then we have greater chances of getting sick
yeah. for me, you know, can you hear me? Maybe? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. For me, you know, I am just realizing right now as I'm reflecting that uh, for me, ill health is uh, ill health is more of uh, like a resistance uh, for me. For like, like if I don't want to do something, then and I am not able to say no. I, uh, I, um, you know, like genuinely, like the body will feel ill. Like I will, uh, how do I say? I maybe like I will manifest an illness or something so that then I can play the victim and then I can you know like just say Ki, Are, I wanted to do it but you know like the health is only not allowing now so I can I can still be the good girl and I can still like I don't have to like say a no straight and I can you know yeah it's that but it's it's really getting irritating now because then I also like the health genuinely suffers because then <laughs> it's not like a made up thing. The body like genuinely gets into that. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, that's a very beautiful observation. And this uh, mother also shares in the vital. How the vital part in us. It can actually, or the ego part, we can say, you know, this desiring self, the ego mind, the sense mind, it can eat us up and it would not care. What you were sharing that now it is getting frustrating because I am always in ill health. <laughs> so it would not bother about us. You know, it, uh, Kabir ji says, Tohe mar to, tohi, to, tohe mar tori khal bikave. Mada, tumhe mar ke tumhari khal ko bechenge. तोरे मास का करेंगे बिछोना यू नो कि आपकी जो खाल बेची गई अभी अभी उसका आप बिछोना करके ये बैठेंगे आराम से सो ये मतलब टू दैट एक्सटेंड द ईगो कैन गो दिस वांटिंग टू बी इन प्रेटी इमेज एंड यू नो ईटिंग आवर सेल्स अप फ्रॉम विद इन नॉट वांटिंग टू बी ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड सिंसियर इन व्हाट यू वांट टू एक्सप्रेस सो दैट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल ऑब्जर्वेशन इफ इट कैन बी वर्कड अपॉन यू नो it's not very easy to pinpoint that, oh, I am doing this. But if you have done that, it's already a very major step. So you can, we can stop eating ourselves from within. We are the one. Body is docile. Mother says body is very docile. You know, so if uh, kuch manipulation kar hai, mind and vital, so it says, okay, you know, I'm okay to fall in. It, it follows. You know, but in that we suffer, as you said. So that's very, uh, can be taken up and it can be our source of power actually where we are disempowering ourselves yeah thank you for put, bringing it forward yeah anything more anyone on this uh, first few lines When I was reading this, you know, there are so many uh, small children, right, who uh, fall sick, have really bad diseases, and a lot of them do pass on. And especially with children, I've seen that the hope is really strong, right, like of the parents, of the, these days, a lot of groups on Facebook asking for support, right, like monetary and otherwise. So, if you believe that this or that will cure you, there's much chance that it would do so. Right thinking is most necessary. So, probably with the so much hope and certitude, there also could be a lot of fear, right? But this is a big disease. But how will... Because superficially, it feels that why would anybody not think that this person would get cured, right? And yet, like Chetna just shared, right? We too have, I would want to say maybe demons or I don't know what word to use, living inside of us who keep talking, right? 
even if you don't believe in it or you would not want to believe in it but they keep talking and not knowing what one is doing one ends up becoming one's own enemy right like it is what when she was sharing it's like those you know who would no need enemies if one has friends like this you know when we are ourselves putting us down it's very like exposing of what how we work like how it works so yeah because initially the first thing that came to me was then why would little children die but then they would or they do i mean of course among other things because my certitude or hope or belief also has lots of but what about but what about and i myself you know unaffirm what i want to affirm Yeah, and there there may be many many other reasons actually because there are many souls that come only for teaching a lesson and then they just go away. So we can't be sure, you know. We there's not just one layer to this. Why do little children die? Many many other layers also. And this, you know, this how we can generate a death urge because if we are living continuously from the desire soul, uh, that me or me. इच्छाएं बस पूरी होती रहें और जब वो पूरी नहीं होंगी तो आई विल ईट माई सेल्फ अप इट कैन जेनरेट डेथ अर्ज आई हैव बीन थ्रू दैट एंड आई आई देन फेल्ट दैट ओ यू नो दिस कैन हैपन दैट इफ यू टू मच टाइटली आर स्टिकिंग टू हाउ लाइफ शुड यू मूव द वे यू आर इमेजिनिंग इट टू मूव देन दिस डिजायरिंग सोल इन अस इट सेज इससे अच्छा है तो मैं मर ही जाऊँ कि मेरी इच्छा नहीं पूरी हो रही चल मैं मर ही जाऊँ यू नो मेरे जीने का क्या फायदा सो दैट्स द what you were sharing you know the demonic part of me you know which actually kills me you know ki aasha trishna na mari you know ye aasha trishna humko hi le dubti mar mar gaye sharir wo nahi maregi wo agli life mein bhi hamare piche padi rahegi and that's what kabir says that if you have to die die to your desires in this very life don't extend it mother talks about you know there is an again many many compilations uh, by many people done no, Uh, words said by mother shurvindo on death rebirth and other things so in one of those compilations mother talks about that there was a woman who died and she saw her desires scattered in different parts you know when she was dying look at this so the more unified we are and right now is the time to unify ourselves the more unified i am centered around one psychic what mother says you know centered around my soul consciousness the lesser is a chance that i will like you know tha when i die it like i'm scattered in pieces thousand pieces and then you know we don't know what piece goes where and one goes to the vital world and one goes to the mental world and one piggy backs on somebody else who is alive and lives through him you know the desires so why would you want to do that when we have this understanding at least from the mother that this is the time right now is the time when we can unify ourselves you know integral education integral yoga is about unification you know that we are scattered all around this wants this that vital wants that person you know the mental wants this thing respect fame body wants something else so unify it that everything each part of my being wants just one thing so that when it dies actually because we have to prepare ourselves you know all of us has to right now we are not superhuman race we have to die you know so when we die at least that unified effort that we have done in that unification it stays you know that is what stays the wealth is not going to stay people are not going to stay all the people good friends i may have you know they are not going to stay with me my children will not stay with me but this unification effort that i do right now in this life imagine what a punji what a wealth that i take it along so we must spend time on unification otherwise as you know it was like scary to read what mother was sharing that that person died and as if her being was scattered into thousand pieces and we not only we create difficulty from for the alive life that we have we also create difficulties then for for that bardo state of you know going through that phase of uh, you know that 
one can say tunnel of from one rebirth to the next rebirth usko bhi complicate kar dete hain is life ko to kiya hi kiya complicate aur agar is life ko complicate nahi karenge isko simplify karne ki koshish karenge to aap dekho uska effect aapko dusri life matlab aage bhi milega benefit hi benefit hai you know what uh, nachiketa lord yama you know lord lord of that says to nachiketa that see what you have chosen you have chosen the one which is beneficial over the one which is pleasant so i will give you the boon you know i will grant you the boon or and it believe believe me that it is difficult for each one of us often times to choose what is beneficial often times it is difficult we would rather go on to go to the pleasant rather than take the beneficial road but when we develop a habit of it that no i want benefit of my being I don't want to waste this life. तो habit में फिर वो आपका older taste वो छूट जाता है जो पुराना घटिया taste है वो छूट जाता है That's why शिव रोबिंदो कॉल्स इट आर्यन एफर्ट वन हैज टू क्लाइंब कीप क्लाइंबिंग एंड क्लाइंबिंग रिक्वायर्स एफर्ट यू ऑफन कीप कीप ऑन फॉलोइंग एनर्जी चाहिए क्लाइंबिंग के लिए so not to waste our energies at all the other places that we do self victimization self blame you know all that good that goes on inside our head and rather than use that energy in climbing to if it jab when we are draining our energies in all the negative things then we have no energy left for the climbing you know climbing oh we'll do it in you know maybe some other time nothing no energy left all the youth gone in drainage of thoughts you know so right thinking is a right choice every moment which we have to make making a right choice requires effort i have to put that effort because i am human being such a precious gift i have the possibility of making a choice so i, I must use it wisely and we often times we say Oh, ten times I was able to do it, but now eleventh time I can slacken down my consciousness. So, uska bhi hamay effect milta hai. We get the effect. No, everything has cause and effect for a very long time. Owning it, what you know, it, we were talking about bodily illnesses. You know, first you own that. Oh, I am the creator of my misery. and hence if i have that much of power that i can create this much misery even at the bodily level i have created imagine then it must be that i have the power to take care of it to reverse it so when we own it fully then we have also the power to transcend it so yeah that's a very big step when we own that yes i am the creator Yeah, what more here? Anyone? Like when one says to integrate one be one's being, right? Like sometimes it used to confuse me, but then I realized that just having that certitude that one is taken care of, or just you know going back to the center, is also the integration aspect. And there are so many stories. that people have shared that are there in the text even mother there's a there are so many incidents in which it says that the sad guru you know like you left your body and the guru is standing waiting for you that come i'll guide you to where you need to be and the scattering has not happened there was this another recently i read from the mother that somebody wanted not to die and they were having a very chronic thing so mother you know tried to do something and but it was shown that if they would not die right now the next 2 3 years till they die would be very discomforting and not good but still if they wanted that mother said i gave it and yet when the time came 
the person when they saw that they could merge with the supreme they jumped with joy and the soul wanted to go so she said you know she was telling the son of the person that then i held their hand and guided them there so that they don't have to go to the other and suffer so there was no suffering straight away one was led so and you know even i've heard like you know my mom my other like other like even people with very vedantic roots and all there is this very strong belief that when i leave my body my guru will be standing and he or she will be guiding me that they have that capacity and they have that compassion to if the faith is true of course so that too is a step in my integration that i just know i want just to be with them and they'll take me where i need to. Maybe we can take a little bit further. <clears throat> yeah, anyone who'd like to read? Okay, I'll read. I got my reading glasses today, so I better read. <laughs> uh, the mind is the master of the physical being. Only one doesn't know how to use one's mind. Quite the contrary. Not only does one not know how to use it, but one uses it as badly as possible. The mind has a considerable power of formation and a direct action on the body. And usually one uses this power to make oneself ill. For as soon as the least thing goes wrong, the mind begins to shape and build all possible catastrophes to ask itself whether it could be this, whether it could be that, if that is the way it is going to be and how it will all end. Well, instead of letting the mind do this disastrous work, one used the same capacity to make favorable formations Simply, for example, to give confidence to the body, to tell it that it is just a passing disturbance and that it is nothing. And that if it enters a real state of receptivity, the ailment can go away as easily as it came. And that one can cure oneself in a few seconds. If one knows how to do that, one gets wonderful results. Do you want me to continue? Yeah, I think uh, we'll just pause, take a pause here. Thank yeah. you. You know, it's very interesting. Uh, imagine that you have uh, worked with this power of thought and affirmation and maybe healed a couple of things. There is no surety that the next time some challenge comes, you will be able to use that again with that much efficiency with which you may be able to. Because, you know, every challenge is very much different in texture. Although it increases, it's like a muscle. No, but uh, we can never say never. Like, oh, mera to ho gaya. you know, I know how to use the power of my mind because I have seen this happening that uh, we may become very confident with the more, more the, that we exercise the power of our mind and affirm and we transcend, you know, little, little things, the fears that we have. And we say, oh, it's working, it's working, you know. <laughs> and then a next challenge comes, 
which you never thought that you know it will be so tedious to get through because each challenge is, has a different stickiness to hum kabhi bhi nahi keh sakte ki mera ho gaya you know this can never be said because now this i have seen like what mother says that only grace works even through affirmations what is working affirmations are not working grace is making them work you know if grace is withdrawn from the affirmations nothing remains zero you know empty bubble and that keeps us grounded you know that through affirmations you were like able to work with grace you know you were able to be a channel uh, for grace and that's what worked so uh, this is very interesting that i uh, i somehow can never say that oh i am fearless you know because you never know what the next fear is going to come up like a challenge in front of you and these you know, these fears are some sometimes so trivial like your you know some you get a kharoch you know, like a scratch and uh, that scratch is maybe from a uh, rusty material immediately the attention goes now what you you do you didn't actively think about it you know rusty thing okay it can cause this it can cause that you know pus whatever and you see that you can't stop yourself i'm who is thinking you know you are not actively thinking and then that's where a lies our work because the moment you see this fear in the cells you know the cells are fearful that's where lies our work you know what uh, we were talking like this is part of unification that turning it to the mother turning it to the divine you know so i can write it down that uh, you know i am well and the mother is taking care of me i am healthy and well and nothing can happen to me nothing can happen to me if the mother doesn't want so we can write it write it write it and you know so that that becomes a uh, part of my being rather than that cellular fear that is there So just I got reminded of this. Yeah, I think uh, Yuan has shared something. I'll just read it out. I think he cannot speak. Wonderful text. Lately, I have been thinking a lot about about why do we use our mind for thinking so many bad things. I looked inside myself to understand better. I discovered that we need faith to be positive. At least in my case, I think I thought a lot about illness. because i was afraid and this fear came from a lack of faith thank you yes i think for all of us it just grows uh, progressively it kind of grows in relative degrees and again yeah, they, yeah. yes deepa please it it, yeah. it resonates uh, what one said because um i had this back i have this back condition where the discs are a bit bulging and if i stand for a long time or i do a lot of tedious work on in one day my back hurts a lot and there have been times when i have not been able to move get up do anything so bedridden but um what i also noticed was the mind and body connection in that so yes physical effort does cause the back pain but there have been times when i've been mentally stressed and i get the same back pain that i have on a physically tiring day otherwise that i used to have so what is this mind and body connection like i've i've it's been a easy day but i have just been emotionally having some upheavals and i get the same back pain and another thing i noticed was let's say i have guests coming over the next day i'm already anticipating i'm already telling all the cells of my body that oh my god it's going to be such a busy day i'm going to be standing cooking cleaning and i will have the same back pain at the end of the day and how will i cope for this so i've already built up so much insecurity and fear with my condition it may happen it may not happen but i've already conditioned and it eventually does happen at the end of the day that i am unable to even stand or walk so it is i don't know what it is but i've built up either a conditioned fear insecurity or maybe as chetna mentioned before in the session that there is also a fear of entertaining people because i know there'll be a lot of work and there'll be and i've already conditioned so maybe eventually i may not call people as much over 
so i'm conditioning creating a fear and maybe also telling everybody in the family don't call too many people to the house <laughs> it can be even that uh, i don't know whatever it is but there's definitely a mind and body connection there are a lot of psychosomatic illnesses we all know migraines headaches back aches are part of the whole psychosomatic uh, illnesses we have created uh, into our lives and i'm sure maybe next time i should try something where i say i'm going to be fit i'm going to be healthy i'm going to take adequate rest so that i don't strain my back and also take steps i mean along with this affirmation i should take steps towards more um deliberate mindful work which does not affect my back yeah thank you yes very helpful no one thing you know imagine that uh, uh i am into a business of murders you know i do murdering and now something has shifted in my consciousness and whenever i want to do the planning for the next murder i get some pain in some part of my body now each one of us has a soft spot you know for for me it may be throat some for you it may be back no we have to deal with that not ev- everyone would have the same part of the body affected so it's different huh um now if imagine that i am saying that i'll do it more mindfully this murder you know and i'll see that this time my throat is not affected this won't happen <laughs> you no know, so we have to become uh, we have to take care of ourselves you know we have to nurture and foster and we have to see that now because of the shift in my consciousness there are certain things which do not resonate with me and so whether people approve of me call me acceptable non respectable it doesn't matter i just have to take stand for myself i have to say no simple feel and take the brunt of everything there is no there is no person who really later on has gained dignity as a master who it during those times was not rejected and insulted i don't know one master who was like that kabir mirabai eh osho all the masters if you historically you know bring them out they were all treated very badly and they took it all in okay doesn't matter i am who i am so when the shift in consciousness ha ah, bulle shah so, yes yes <laughs> he was called a kafir and his he was not even like given place for like grave like yeah thank you yes there would be many more of course i don't have much knowledge but uh, you know we have examples so we have to take onus for ourselves no that okay now enough of i 10 years i have entertained guests thank you you know now time for me to sign off so one has to become i think taru had shared once from art of living that the day you lose respect is the day you start living hai na ki nahi aapko ab farak pad raha log aapke bare mein kya soche ab aapko ek andar se direction aa rahi hai aapko wo follow karni hai yeah please deepa i'm glad you brought this up because i think i've i'm not a very assertive person and and there is this um uh feeling in me that you know if my husband says he wants to call his friend then i have to always say yes you know um uh, and um we can always entertain outside or we can get food from outside but you know i'm trying to be that perfect <laughs> wife and uh, please everybody around so i think this whole pleasing uh, behavior should be you know you do as much as you can i mean if it's going to affect you yeah you are mai to carry you suno you do as little as you can see big bye <laughs> and i am i am an assertive person and i am i usually do not keep pleasing people now at least you know i was a different mm. person earlier so matlab what i am saying is that imagine that you stop pleasing people mm. you are actually doing a benefit for them why yeah. because now they are not dependent on your approval and smile for keeping them happy that dekho deepa ne humko to bilkul entertain nahi kiya to hum ab mood bana ke baithenge usse naraz baithenge so now they are you know they are owning their own happiness that whether deepa entertains me or not she is a friend doesn't matter you know she is a friend who i can always get connected with when i am needing so you are actually making them more responsible and 
getting them actually back home because most of our social these kind of you know things they are just let me use the word mostly bullshit they are bullshit they, they give nobody nothing nobody nothing you are empty handed you are drained of your energy you have a back pain poor guys you know they may eat zyada ki bhaiya itna acha bana diya deepa ne aur andar ja ke ghar pe hajmula kha rahe honge ya kuch amrit dhara pi rahe honge na unka bhala hua na aapka bhala hua aur isi mein agar aapne mana kar diya hota imagine that okay you know no entertaining but it doesn't mean that when people need you you are not there you are available hai na so then when the people really want to talk to you you know that yeah is baat ke liye to mujhe deepa se baat karni hai it doesn't matter ki main uske paas char bar khane ke liye gayi nahi gayi usne bulaya nahi wo sara side ho jata hai what matters is okay deepa has this essence i want to go to deepa and talk to her about it that stays that's the deeper essence so we have to actually become people may say you are arrogant it doesn't matter be arrogant if that is what arrogance is you know but own your life foster your life and in that you are actually fostering other people's also shaadi mein 400 logo ko khilane se un 400 logo ka aapne bhara bhala thodi na kar diya at the max unka pet kharab ho sakta hai because zyada khayenge hai na aur wo acha nahi hai aur agar ulta nahi bula hote socho shaadi pe aapne sirf 10 logo ko bulaya ha या शादी करी ही नहीं देखो कितने लोगों का भला <laughs> उस तरीके से भी सोचा जा सकता है सो द मोर वी बिगिन टू गिव प्रायोरिटी टू व्हाट बेनिफिट्स मी आई एम गोइंग टू डू दैट ओनली ओनली दैट आई आई कैन आल्सो ट्रांसलेट एट पीपल अदर पीपल्स लेवल्स लाइक ओके i am not going to do anything with that person which is not of benefit benefit to that person you know i personally can share that i also have a family i also have relatives but i can hardly call them relatives i can hardly call them family because there is no social things happening i i am not a part of that but i am available i am always here so if after 5 years someone connects and i connects with someone there is a deeper bond and we all are family matlab it's like vasudev kutumbakam you know we all are family but family doesn't mean that if you don't come to my wedding oh you know what kind of a person are you okay you know doesn't matter so yahan pe to assertive hona chahiye sahi baat ke liye assertive hona chahiye you know jo hum ziddi hote hai na we are ziddi we are stubborn for wrong reasons we have to be stubborn for good reasons and then that benefits everyone think about it <laughs> vajan kam ho gaya you know bolenge deepa tere ghar aana band ho gaya dekh mera 10 kilo vajan kam ho gaya you know i am so grateful to you you make start getting these gratefulness letters <laughs> god knows you know how you are helping Yeah. Anything more, anyone? No. Although you have said so much and so beautifully, but it's such a juicy topic. I don't know how to restrain myself. You know, the saddest part I realized was that when I was giving in to these expectations, the expectations be I told myself that everybody will accept this. That now that I have this role. this is what is expected of me so i started except expecting that of me nobody stood there and said you must do this or you have to do this i myself from hollywood movies bollywood movies images that i have gathered okay this is what a daughter in law is this is what you know probably whatever words and all one can use so who do i blame because i love to play but there was nobody i could find because the the day i stopped slowly 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 i mean sometimes they were like what are you doing and other times it was like it didn't even nobody noticed that one person is not doing that anymore and you were like oh my god i was spending so much energy in doing that and it meant nothing so we 
ourselves have given us these images and expectations and then we ourselves have told us that this is the minimum you have to meet and then we struggle and struggle and then we go bitter that for you see i had to do so much and see you don't do anything for me you know it's like apna pura the whole hell we have created by my own imaginations my own expectations and then i cry that oh why is life so painful why is the other person not listening to me you know i do so much and still see my bowl is empty but i don't realize that who started it right like if i retrace it will always be me so it's very again empowering to see that i have only you know build these expectations i told myself i have to follow now others are used to and when i obviously there will be withdrawal symptoms when i say that that's it right and yet how much good am i doing like you said by not having these false you know pretentious things like there's more truth you know i can i cannot handle this i don't want to that's it i don't even need an explanation you know my body doesn't take it i don't want to do it i don't feel like entertaining or going for that puja or this shaadi and that's it ki bas dil nahi hai but you know right like if there is no resonance and how through that i'm also you know showing others that they too can choose they have a choice you know we say ki oh i'm a part of this society this is what everybody does you know this is such a close wedding how is it possible i don't go so like my father was one of those who didn't ever you know usually would come to those pressures so for me it came very naturally that yeah i don't have to feel i have to so that's such a blessing right that if you see someone you don't have to take on that burden that you have to others might feel that it's a scandal but let it be after two scandals three scandals just stop reacting so but if do i have i mean i must find the courage like you know again all this is like you know i don't know how to be my own true friend right i don't want to i don't know how to stand by my own side again not in a arrogant way it's very important because one can take it in a very arrogant way but just out of love right so yeah just being more loving to and honoring oneself yes i don't want to it really 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 simplifies one's life there is less drama there is more peace for sure yeah that i can go on thank you. yeah anything more anyone thank you didi as taru said you have really picked up a juicy topic but uh, i just want to share that a lot of times i have uh, you know like these social things and all i have been able to say no um but at the same time like i have been judging myself about it as well and being feeling you know bad and wrong and that i don't fit in and stuff like that so how to let go of that i mean uh yeah yeah when i i am not yet able to say no to work i mean there i have this thing that i have to be the good girl but otherwise the social things most of them i am able to say no but uh, how to how to like let go of that that self judgment because i have a lot of times felt that i have not been the good good daughter good this good that like i have not i mean there is still that self judgment नहीं तो करते रहो ना चुप क्यों होना है मतलब वाई डू यू वॉन्ट मतलब यू डू इट एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन वट वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप नो नो आई आई मीन आई डोंट टू स्टॉप बट आई फील देर इज सेल्फ जजमेंट इवन दो आई एम डूंग क्या प्रॉब्लम है करते रहो ना सेल्फ जजमेंट अच्छा अच्छा करो ओके 
क्यों कह रहे हो उसको लेट गो करना है दैट्स द क्वेश्चन आई एम आस्किंग यू व्हाई डू यू वांट टू लेट गो ऑफ सेल्फ जजमेंट क्योंकि वो अंदर जो सेल्फ जजमेंट होता है वो वो फिर अंदर नेगेटिविटी क्रिएट करता है बॉडी में हां तो आपको नहीं चाहिए नेगेटिविटी नहीं अच्छा फिर वो फिर वो हैप्पी नहीं रहते ना इंसान अंदर से मतलब okay. कर भी रहे जो चाहिए फिर वो फिर भी वो मतलब खुशी महसूस नहीं हो रही जो होनी चाहिए अपनी डिसीजंस लेके जो फ्रीडम वाली खुशी होती है वो तो नहीं आ रही होनी चाहिए ना इसीलिए तो स्टैंड ले रहे हैं तो सो व्हाट इज सी सी व्हाट इज सेल्फ जजमेंट थॉट ही है ना एक एक थॉट है ना हम्म मैं ऐसी हूं मैंने ऐसा किया तो मैं ऐसी होंगी विचार ही तो चल रहा है है ना तो अब देखो ना क्या हो रहा है हम क्यों माइंड को टेमिंग करने की बात करते हैं एक छुरी है आपके पास एक छुरी है और उस छुरी के ऊपर आपका कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है वो बस पूरे दिन चलती रहती है चले जा रही है चले जा रही है चले जा रही है इसको आप सेल्फ जजमेंट कह रहे हो तो हम यही तो कह रहे हैं लेट्स टेम अवर माइंड आप देखो इस बात पे इसको अलग अलग तरीके से इस बात को डिस्कस किया जा सकता है यू कैन ऑल्सो एंटर इन रीजनिंग You can go round and round, and at times you will feel relieved with that reasoning. But ultimately, you will have to come to the point that let me tame my mind. Means, when it is required, I run it. When it is not required, I am silent. The mind is silent. It is not repeatedly thinking about a matter. Hmm. This is what we call taming the mind. तो माइंड को जब ब्रेथ पे लाते हैं माइंड को जब मदर के नाम पे साइलेंट कराते हैं माइंड को एक हायर सेंटर पे या हार्ट सेंटर पे सेंटर कराते हैं इन गैदर कराते हैं यही तो पर्पस है कि वो बैकग्राउंड में अपने छुरी का काम ना करता रहे कि चले जा रहा है चले जा रहा है और फिर मैं कह रही हूँ हाई ये सेल्फ जजमेंट मेरे को तो लेट गो करनी है भाई लेट गो कैसे करोगे क्योंकि वो जब तक वो बंद ही नहीं होगा वो ऑटोमेटिक प्रोसेस जिसपे आप बिलीव कर रहे हो तो हमारे पास माइंड है माइंड इज माई टूल बट द टूल is overpowering me i have no control over that tool it is cutting everything hmm. Hmm. so i must self mastery kisko kehte hain ki aapko pata hai acha ye chaku hai you know this ye ye chaku hai abhi mujhe kaatna hai okay kaatenge kaata ka ka ta ta okay kaat diya ab main ab kya karna hai ab teri koi zarurat nahi hai ab isko rakha okay silent dumb blank with the mother relaxed है ना नहीं तो देर इज नो एंड टू दिस सेल्फ जजमेंट आप कर लो तर्क वितर्क बहुत कर सकते हो रीजनिंग आप रीजनिंग की और मैं ये नहीं कह रही कि रीजनिंग हेल्पफुल नहीं है रीजनिंग विल बी हेल्पफुल यू विल फॉर अ मोमेंट फील द मेटल रिजोल्व हाँ डिस्कस करके आपको लगेगा ओ मेटल रिजोल्व बट है तो वही वाला टूल ना जो चले जा रहा है ऑटोमेटिकली वो फिर से आएगा आपको फिर से परेशान करेगा आप टूल को टूल ही को क्यों नहीं करेक्ट कर देते आप उसको टेम क्यों नहीं कर देते कि वो तब काम करे जब आपको जरूरत है और तब काम नहीं करे जब आपको जरूरत नहीं है देन वेयर इज द प्लेस फॉर सेल्फ जजमेंट सेल्फ जजमेंट इज अ थॉट गिल्ट इज अ थॉट शेम इज अ थॉट एंड वाई डू यू बिलीव ऑल दीज थॉट बिकॉज द माइंड इज आउट ऑफ माई कंट्रोल वो कहते हैं ना मैड एलिफेंट लाइक मैड एलिफेंट द माइंड इज जस्ट ट्रैम्पलिंग ऑल ओवर दैट्स व्हाट वी हैपेंस विद अस इट ट्रैम्पल्स ओवर अस और उसी मैड एलिफेंट को अगर आप टेम कर दो है ना फिर उसको बोलो देख वो खड़ा हुआ है वो आपका वेट कर रहा है सोचो आपके पास एक बहुत पावरफुल एलिफेंट एलिफेंट है वो वेट कर रहा है कब मेरा मास्टर बोलेगा जाना है वो तैयार खड़ा है बिल्कुल अब आप बोलते हो सी आज हम इंडिया गेट चलेंगे वो कह रहा है आइए बैठिए आप बैठ गए उसके ऊपर वो इंडिया गेट पहुंचा दिया उसने आपको लेकिन ये नहीं कि जब वो खाली है तो वो सूंड मारे जा रहा है अपनी उसको रेस्ट होना ही नहीं आता मतलब उसको रेस्ट करना ही नहीं आता उसको ये होता है हमारे और फिर हम कहते हैं मेरा सेल्फ जजमेंट हो रही है गिल्ट हो रही है शेम हो रही है हाउ टू लेट गो है ना तो आप रूट पे जाओ ना बिल्कुल हम सबको ही रूट पे जाना है कोई रुक ही नहीं सकता शैशालू सर्फेस पे कॉन्ट स्टॉप so thank let's you. let's tame ha huh? thank you for bringing it up let's tame our monkey minds so use them when they are necessary keep them keep the mind when it is not necessary let it remain silent which to the usual chatter it may seem i have become dumb as i said last time but that's a good dumbness be dumb 
rather than being cruel to yourself it's good to be dumb like this it's not dumbness actually yeah auspicious dumbness yes jab jaisi energy chahiye hoti hai fir you spring into action but kyunki itna mindful माइंडलेस चैटर चल रहा होता है तो वी हैव नो एनर्जी लेफ्ट जब राइट right काम होता है ना आपको लगता है यार मैं करूं नहीं करूं अरे वो बहुत थकावट हो जाएगी है ना तो ये सोचते हैं हम चले जा रहे हैं गोल 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 और जब आप टेम रखते हो माइंड को ना आप देखना यू डू इट डू इट इवन फॉर वन डे वेन यू कीप द माइंड टेम्ड एंड यूज इट ओनली वेन रिक्वायर्ड एंड कीप इट रेस्टेड वेन नॉट रिक्वायर्ड देन यू विल फील यू हैव मोर एनर्जी द बॉडी विल ऑल्सो फील वेल Whenever the right action is required, you have energy. रात को दो बजे उठना है हाँ उठेंगे you know, जवानी वापिस आ जाती है Youth, you know, the vigor of youth, it comes back. Experience तो करके देखे हम just going back to uh, chetna's question you know the way, the way she said it that now i am able to say no to certain demands like that statement in itself had the some heaviness in it and there was this thing that i am not convinced i am doing the right thing i don't even agree with it fully and yet okay i have been able to do it and then the struggle then the judgments then the thing so if i am standing up for myself and if now we see that that helps others stand up for themselves so i am empowering myself and others firstly i have to be also accepting na ki yes this is the right thing so i think that too is kind of important ki main khud hi convince nahi ho kar rahi hu to guilty for ye sab do all the things that we go into they come but if i know Yeah, there was something else I lost. I think यहाँ पे वही कोई compromise की जरूरत नहीं होती वो sharing कि अपनी benefit के लिए जो भी चीज required है उसमें कोई compromise नहीं करना है I think in general, when we see these things, especially when you have been able to maybe master them a little bit, transcend them. I mean, again and again, a lack of self sympathy, self love comes to me. You know, when I had that NDE, like you know that near death experience. Before that, I was very self critical, like had self worth issues, very self critical. But once. that was a practical visualization that this body has been given to me to be used for something like you know we apne ko i take totally for granted right okay 15 people dinner come yes yes i'll do it like teen din nahi soye but once you see that okay this too is a gift i better take care of it like you know how they say it's a temple that might be too extreme for me but one can still believe that but even before that it's not just me this has been given to me this is a gift and i have to take care of it i have to again honor it so then you would be convinced ki okay this i know it doesn't go that far it doesn't want to so my answer is a way we justify it no if you know your friend has some issues or your daughter has some issues you would not impose them you will shield them so that way we can also shield our own selves ki mere se nahi hota hai this is this doesn't work for me i'm not able to do it genuinely i'm convinced i don't need to ask my friend ke kyun nahi karegi zarur karegi if she says ke mere se nahi hota i'll be say no no you know but but tune itna bhi kyun kara that's where i'll go but with me i keep pushing and pushing and pushing so maybe realizing that this too is a gift it will be taken one day and while i have it let me take care of it not again in a pompous and an arrogant way but jo ek tool hai uski capacity hai 
तो कितना खींचोगे कितना उसको श्रक कर दोगे एंड लाइक यू सेड व्हेन देयर समथिंग गुड समथिंग बिग उसमें तो यू नो लाइक खत्म हो जाए डजेंट मैटर सो या जस्ट Yeah, thanks this is really good because i think we complicate things unnecessarily for example when i say yes to people and call them over i'm thinking also that i'm very good and there is i mean you're just giving food it's not such a big honorable task that you're doing it's for people who otherwise have food in their house you're just calling them over and giving food it's not like you're feeding some hungry people on the street so we are unnecessarily complicating the matter here first of all they have food they have shelter second also like what chetna said if if i do end up saying no i feel very guilty but that is also like how taru said because we uh, we are going in this whole loop unnecessarily because we are not convinced that we did the right thing by saying no so i think today it gave me so much clarity um this whole conversation it's not that i'll not call people over but um there is a balance and i need to respect the limitations of my body and respect um and learn to take care of my body yes any any last comments anyone before we end so you know mother also comes back uh, to the basic crux which is the mind we don't know how to use this tool that is with us all the time mind and we use it in all the disastrous possible ways that we can so that we have to change we have to become better at it the mind is the master of physical being only one doesn't know how to use one's mind agar mere paas ek car hai aur main usko jagah jagah ja ke thokar deti rehti hu i can't blame life for making it happen for me i have to get good at driving quite the contrary not only does one not know how to use it but matlab aisa bhi nahi ki aapko pata nahi hai kaise use karna hai to you are wary of it matlab aap uske bhi worst possible extreme mein ja rahe ho but one uses it as badly as possible tha 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 you know jagah jagah chakkar kha rahe hain har deewar pe not only does one not know how to use it but one uses it as badly as possible so agar chaku ki baat ki jaye to chaku se sabji to nahi kaatte aur jo jahan ki cheeze ja ja ke kaatte rehte hain aur apni ungli bhi kaatte rehte hain pareshan hote rehte the mind has a considerable power of formation what we were talking about you know that we visualize and we create our back ache for example the mind has a considerable power of formation and a direct action on the body and usually one uses this power to make oneself ill this is what i think some of us shared for as soon as the least thing goes wrong the mind begins to shape and build all possible catastrophes so whenever we are challenged to go out of our comfort zones a little na usme aisa lagta hai oh ab to ye hone wala hai oh ab to wo hone wala hai no this what we were sharing some of us so wrong means kuch aisa gaya you know which is out of what you imagined of your usual zones for as soon as the least thing goes wrong the mind begins to shape and build all possible catastrophes to ask itself whether it could be this whether it could be that if that is the way it is going to be and how it all will end so you you know uh kisse vayu se chanchal man you know there is a long song by kabir ji where he says uh, vayu se bhi tez kaun hai you know he says man because the moment you think about jupiter here it is you know in your mind jupiter you don't have to have travel it's very fast a person may be miles away from you you know maybe in different past the moment you think about that person 
here it is right with in front of you so it's very fast and that's how we build keep building we are all the time building so mother says that we are building catastrophes this is what do we are doing so if we can build catastrophes we can also build good things we can do that well if instead of letting the mind do this disastrous work so we see here it is a default pattern usme humko koi effort nahi karna yahan pe kya likha hua hai instead of letting the mind do so letting the mind matlab wo background mein kare ja raha hai kare ja raha hai na usme aapko koi interference ki zarurat nahi hai bahut like sadhak ki tarah wo laga hua hai piche background mein kaam karne mein that's why mother says letting the mind do तो अगर आप कुछ इंटरफेयर नहीं करते हो तो वो बैकग्राउंड में सब गंदगी मचा रहा है वेल इंस्टेड ऑफ लेटिंग द माइंड डू जिसमें आपका कोई इंटरफेरेंस नहीं चाहिए दिस डिजास्टरस वर्क वन यूजेस द सेम यूज द सेम कैपेसिटी टू मेक फेवरेबल फॉर्मेशन यहां आपका एफर्ट चाहिए अगर इफ यू हैव अ यू नो पर्सन हु वर्क फॉर यू एंड ही डज नॉट वेरी गुड वर्क सो इफ यू लेट हिम डू ऑल वॉट ही इज डूइंग नो एफर्ट रिक्वायर्ड but if you want now to make him work more efficiently and beautifully aapko bar bar usko tokna padega acha nahi lagega aapko tokna but karna padega dekh yahan se saaf nahi hua acha dekh wo cup niche se ganda hai you know wahan pe dusting nahi hui theek se hai na so she or he may not realize but you are actually trying to move her towards also perfection you know ki dekho kya kya miss kiya tumne bahut hard hai bahut challenging hai ego ko bahut hurt hoti hai bar bar so we can make letting the mind do disastrous work one use the same capacity to make favorable formations simply for example to give confidence to the body we were talking about affirmations to tell it that it is just a passing disturbance and that it is nothing and that if it enters a real state of receptivity the body if it becomes porous to grace the ailment can go away as easily as it came so rather than attending to the non favorable formation make a good formation i will be healthy i am mother's child you know i am taken care of and how am i feeling in the body when i am healthy and taken care of so, you know, so get to that feeling and then that one can cure oneself in a few seconds if one knows how to do that one gets wonderful results or ye continuous process hai like we as you were sharing that for some instances we may be able to do it nicely easily for some that are now to come it may be more challenging so it's a con- continuous process करना चाहिए यू नो अदरवाइज वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ अस बींग ह्यूमन इफ यू डोंट पुट दिस मच एफर्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑफ अस या एनीथिंग लास्ट ऑन दिस एनी लास्ट कमेंट्स एनी वन okay so let's then take a pause here we'll read the next i think it's the next beginning which we'll read next time page number 61 we'll take it up again the next part yeah so if not anything more let's take a last moment to share and dedicate and then yeah ritu you want to share something
Okay, maybe not. So just taking last moment uh, to dedicate, share any merit that we may have collected. Sharing it all with sentient beings near, far, wherever. May we honor ourselves and honor all the beings around us. May we stand by ourselves, be our truest friend and let others be their true friend also. Each one of us, may we all come back home. To our own self. Thank you, everyone.